recording for Katie Chats here at the Female Eye Film Festival in downtown Toronto with filmmaker Ruba Nada. How does it feel to be here at FEF? Oh, it's very exciting, actually. It's very lovely, yeah. Thank you. And tell me a little bit about this very prestigious award that you are receiving. Um, it's an honorary award. It's like you never turn down awards. It's always like very, uh, it's good to be honored, I think. And especially by this festival, it's a really great festival for women. And so it's, yeah, it's very exciting. What sets the Female Eye Film Festival apart? Um, I think it's because of their like goal. It's like they're really, their their first goal is to try to um, help and improve the state of female directors in the in the industry. And it just it comes from such a genuine um, belief and support. So it's just uh, it's very it's it's very good that way. What was it like winning the Best Canadian Feature Film for Cairo Time at the Toronto International Film Festival? It's, I have to say, shocking, because it was, the, I was totally not expecting it. Um, you know, it was just so difficult getting that movie made. It was such a passion project, and um, I'm just not used to winning awards. So every time I, I do, it's just such a shock. Um, so it was a real, genuine, it was a real. It was a really great way to sort of cap off that amazing experience at TIFF for me. What is the importance of women's voices and hearing them through film? Um, I think, you know, I think I, I'm not sure if women have like a different aesthetic mm -hmm. towards telling stories or not. I just think that it's, you know, if if that's what your goal, if that's what your ambition, if that's what your dream is to be a female writer director then you should be given that opportunity you should have that you should have that right to your voice and there's nothing wrong with it and i don't so i, I don't i've never thought of that there's differences between how men and women tell stories i've never really even thought about it um but i think i i, I think there is definitely a different aesthetic to it sometimes um but it's just because someone once said that to me and it's like when they when they see my films they you know, it's very clearly they're made by a woman, but I don't, I don't know what that means, to be honest. I don't, I'm, I'm always so uh, head down the ground trying to get these movies made that I don't really, I can't think of anything else. What advice would you give to an aspiring filmmaker? I think the number one thing that you can't have to do is not take no for an answer. You have to keep moving forward. Um, you have to not... Uh, get angry, get weighed down by just how much rejection um, that you go through that you just have to it just has to you have to keep going you have to keep moving forward no matter what and who have been the most inspiring women in your life um, women in my it's it's different I mean my mother obviously and my sisters um, and you know it's I think for me it's it's people like I get inspired by people whether they're women or they're men and so if I find you know great person it's like you just you I think when you're a filmmaker you take inspiration from wherever you can get it and hang <laughs> on to it and where is the best place to find out more information on you and your upcoming projects as well online um, I'm going into my next feature thank God I'm shooting in the fall uh, here in Canada in the fall um, I, I don't have a website like I try to I'm out on Facebook um, but I think if you Google it's like it's there it's like stuff comes up it's amazing that way but <laughs> <laughs> that's basically or you can email me <laughs> well, thank you so much congratulations on a tremendous career and enjoy the rest of FEF thank you thank, thank, you, thank you so much thank you I'm Katie Ullman reporting for Katie Chats here at the Female Eye Film Festival in downtown Toronto <laughs>